Hey everyone, it's Savannah. I am so excited to be here today to share with you that over the next few weeks, we will be sharing stories from people that we know and love about how they have persevered through hardships in their lives. It is our hope and belief that these stories will inspire you to keep pushing even through the hard times. Today, we get to hear from Pastor Ben Carr. He will be sharing about how he has persevered despite medical and physical issues to be not only physically fit, but also spiritually fit. Check this out. Well, hey everybody, my name is Ben. I'm one of the pastors at Water's Edge Church, but also I'm a, I'm a dad of two teenagers. And uh, actually one just graduated and another one's gonna be a junior in high school. And I've also been married for 25 years to my amazing wife, Carolyn. We just celebrated 25 years, pretty awesome. But um, it's been crazy. It's been a fun time, fun ride and uh, God has continued to do some great things. But uh, today I want to talk a little bit about uh, my story. As many of you kind of don't know, you know, sometimes when you see somebody on stage or as a pastor, you think, wow, they got everything together and they haven't had any issues or any problems. Well, I can tell you, uh, I've had a lot of them. Um, not only physically, but spiritually today, I want to talk with you a little bit about that word um, is endurance. And uh, the word endurance, I'm sure many of you are like, man, what is that? What does that mean? Now, what does that mean when we hear the word, wow, they got great endurance. And um, I can tell you, there's a lot of pictures and um, a lot of images that can, can come to our mind, right? You think of, you know, when you think of endurance, you think of people that are exercising and doing things. And you see the picture of them maybe on Instagram or Facebook or wherever. And it's like, wow, I wish I could look like that. But um, oftentimes you don't see just a normal person talking about endurance, which, which, which I'm, I'm normal. I'm a normal person that has lots of crazy things going on and even problems as well. But um, endurance, here's what endurance means. Endurance basically means is, is, an, is how fast can an object move or a person move in a given time and space. So in a given time and space, place that you're in, how fast can you move? And um, that's basically the definition of physical endurance. And you know, for some of you, you think about endurance. Well, I can't I can do like maybe a mile or maybe you can you know go for a walk or maybe you can run a marathon or maybe in the olympics a triathlon and you think about you know i was just thinking about recently about all the different olympic games that are happening right now like the different um, competitions you know and, and all of those people they have trained a certain way to endure what they're going through you think about you think about the swimmers the swimmers that are out there and competing like they're training in a certain level of endurance to make it through some of it's 30 seconds, some of it's a minute, some of it's like two hours, three hours. So whatever they're facing, they train for. And, um, and today I wanna to talk with you a little bit about who I am. And like some of you may not know this. Um, so from the age of five and for like the next 10 years, age 15, I was actually hospitalized um, 18 times with asthma. And I'm a severe asthmatic. You probably didn't, didn't know that as from seeing me, but I'm a severe asthmatic. And uh, actually just recently, it's been pretty cool. I've been taking these Facenra injections, which actually helped me with my asthma because it's tough to endure physically with, with asthma. You're probably like, oh, he's got no problems. Look at him. You see the outward, right? But you don't see what's going on, on the inside of my lungs. My lungs are like squeezing tight. And, and I have to train myself in a long period of time to endure things that I'm training for. And another thing that you may not know about me, maybe you do, is, is I'm half deaf. Yeah, I can only hear half of what everybody else hears. And you probably want, if you just plug one of your ears, you can tell, well, that's how, that's how Ben hears, yeah. And just so as, as a normal person who is a family of four and, you know, I've been a pastor for quite some time, um, I've been through a lot of things physically and um, there's so much more to my story, but just those two things, being an asthmatic and only hearing half, that's been tough to endure. Because not only is this about physical endurance as I shared, but God has, has, has developed something in my life over a, over a period of time, has moved me through a period of time to develop who I am today. And yeah, I'm still the messed up person that pretty much everybody else is. They just don't want to admit it sometimes, but I am. Is There's an endurance you went through that God, God kind of like made you who you are today. And I think accepting that story and the flip side of, of physical is just knowing of what, what does God want for what you're going through today. So maybe you're watching and you're like, God, why am I going through this? Actually, the Bible talks about this. Colossians 1, check it out. Colossians chapter 1, 11. It says that, you know, God wants us to be strengthened according to his might, 
not our own strength, his strength, that we may endure whatever we're going to face in life. And so I think for you today is that whatever you're at in life, as you're battling through and as you're, as you're going through all these different situations and knowing if you can't get through, through something difficult that you're facing or whatever you're hanging on to that you just got to, you got to let go or whatever you're trying to, to chase after, run, whatever it is, like just know what is God trying to teach you through that moment, through that moment. And um, today, maybe you're trying to, to climb up that ladder to success. It's like, God, is this what you really want for me? Maybe, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's calling you to do something different, but he's going to, he's going to give you something in your life, I believe, to help you endure. And remember, endurance is what? It's God taking you where you're at over a period of time and space. And so the time that you have here on earth, maybe God is saying, hey, listen, listen up. Hey, it's gonna be okay. Just trust me, look to me because I'm gonna guide you and show you where, where you need to go. And I think for you today, my, 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 my challenge to you and also just, um, just some wisdom for you today, if you don't mind, is just saying, God, I'm gonna accept where I'm at. And I'm gonna use this trial and this battle, whatever I'm facing, uh, to endure and to know that you got, you're going to get me through this. God, you're going to get me through it. Even though it's difficult, even though it's tough, even though it's like you don't know if you can keep going. God, I want to, I want to trust you because I want to endure. And um, today, that's uh, that's what I just want to challenge you with today. And just know that I'm not, I'm not this perfect person that um, you may think pastors are. Or aren't. We're just normal, everyday people who endure. Um, we're normal people just like you. And so today, that's my story. And um, I'm glad I get to share it with you just as we talk about this endurance that God has us through and knowing that he's going to get you through it. You just got to trust him and look up and uh, know that he's got you and he wants to strengthen you. Oh, Pastor Ben just gets me so pumped. Every time I hear him speak, it just inspires me to keep pushing. Now, if you love today's story, then please tune in next Friday to hear another story from a beloved member of Water's Edge Church, and they will be talking about how they have persevered through a challenging time in their life. And hey, if you like today's story, please join us this Sunday for part two of our brand new sermon series, The 18th Mile. But if you can't join us on Sunday, join us Tuesday and Thursday at 7 p.m. online. I hope to see you guys there.